It's Allie from the Children's Museum of Atlanta, and I have for you today a very special book called Inch by Inch. Now, have you guys heard the word measure before? Say that with me, measure. To measure something is to find the length of something, and a way that we can measure is by using something called an inch. Now this story is called Inch by Inch because it's about this little guy who's called an inchworm. He's a little worm that's about the size of an inch. So he can be used to measure things as we're going to see in this book. Are you guys ready to get started? Awesome. This is Inch by Inch. One day a hungry robin saw an inchworm, green as an emerald, sitting on a twig. He was about to gobble him up. <gasps> Can you guys say, oh no? <gasps> Good job. I hope he gets away. <gasps> Don't eat me. I am an inchworm. I am useful. I measure things. Is that so, said the robin. Then measure my tail. <gasps> do you think he can do it? Let's see if he can measure its tail. That's easy, said the inchworm. One two, three, four, five inches. So do you guys see what the worm's doing? He's inching down the tail and because he's about an inch, he was able to count five inches. Hmm. Just think, said the robin, my tail is five inches long. And with the inchworm, he flew to where other birds needed to be measured. Where's our inchworm? There he is. They're off. Let's see who they find next. The inchworm measured the neck of the flamingo. Look at this animal. Look at how long its neck is. And there's our friend the inchworm going inch by inch. Now can you guys at home take a guess? How many inches do you think his neck is? 10? 20? He measured the toucan's beak. This is a very colorful bird that has such a long beak. And there he goes, measuring inch by inch. Can you guys at home guess how many inches that is? I'm going to guess maybe 10. Hmm. He measured the tail of a pheasant. A pheasant is a bird with this really long tail. Look at our little friend go. Can you guys say, go, inchworm, go. Good job. What's he gonna measure next? And the whole hummingbird. Look, a hummingbird is a little tiny bird. So maybe that's only a couple of inches. What do you guys at home think? Hmm. One morning, the nightingale met the inchworm. Measure my song, said the nightingale. But how can I do that, said the inchworm. I measure things, not songs. Measure my song or I'll eat you for breakfast, said the nightingale. <gasps> can you guys go dun dun dun? <gasps> then the inchworm had an idea. <gasps> I'll try, he said. Go ahead and sing. What do you think our friend the inchworm is up to? Hmm. The, night the nightingale sang and the inchworm measured away. But where's the inchworm? Do you see him? Is he sneaking away? Maybe that's his plan. He measured and measured. Where is he now? He's getting away. Can you say go inchworm go? Inch by inch. <gasps> there he is. He's almost away until he inched out of sight. <gasps> Do you see him? He made it. <gasps> and that is the end. Can you say the end? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for story time and have a great day. Bye.